here we are back to the same general composition that you've seen the past two weeks. And if this is getting boring to you, uh, you know what? It's, uh, I, I hope it's not. <laughs> it's, I, it's super exciting for me. Uh, I'm enjoying this to no end. And so I, I hope it's not too boring for you. But um, you might see more of these in the coming weeks because I'm just having so much fun with these Nanlite Pavo tubes. Um, if you're interested, I don't even know if I, I have a link on the blog. It's got, I, I got them from B&H for about 70 or 80 dollars each and it's called the nanlite pavo tube 26 c so that's what i'm using here anyway this is me learning more about how to use these and kind of experimenting with the lighting that i've got to uh, make a more interesting composition so same idea as last week and the week before my camera is positioned at a uh, above and at an angle to the subject uh, and it's on top of my washing machine because i can turn all the lights out and i like the nice clean surface that you get and i've got a dual lighting setup going on I, last week i talked about maybe getting a third light well i don't have that yet i just have the two lights and I, you know, I'm pretty happy with what I'm getting here. It, it, it's working pretty well, but I, I think I still could use a third light. Now, what I'm learning here is that there's more than just how the subject appears. Like there, there's accents and there's highlights and there's reflections. And that's what I'm, I'm working with intentionally here. Even the shadows, these are intentional. I have two shadows being cast and that's a completely intentional move on my part. I made, I pos positioned the lights intentionally to get all of those elements. So you see that highlight on the left-hand side where the iPod curves around and it's got that vertical orange highlight. That's intentional. Uh, I did that <laughs> with, with the light. Do you see on the screen how it's kind of shiny on the right-hand side of the screen? That's intentional. Um, the angle of the shadows is intentional. And those are the kinds of things that I never considered before getting these Pavo tubes. It, it, the, these types of photos were not available to me because I did not have the gear or the knowledge to make these types of photos. And so now that I have a couple off-camera, I almost said off-camera flashes, uh, a, a couple sources of off-camera lighting, I'm able to explore this creativity in photography that was never, it was like locked away and now it's finally available to me. Incidentally, if you're looking for EXIF information or exposure information, this is shot at F16, um, one fourth of a second, and ISO 100. I've been shooting all these at ISO 100 because they're still subjects on a tripod. Like there's no reason not to shoot at ISO 100 and get a nice clean image.